The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. All right, here we are mid-May in Ontario and we're about uh, 80 to 90 percent of the corn has been planted. Uh, fields are looking great and what I really wanted farmers to get uh, to take away from this is that herbicides are all about applying a, a product earlier to control weeds in that crop to get it off to a great start. Uh, what I really wanted to talk about is fungicide, fungicides to help maintain that return on investment, all that time and money you put into that acre and to really get uh, the full potential out of that corn crop, keeping it greener longer, healthier, um, all the way until that grain fill period. So we got two major fungicide application timings. There's the early timing, which is around the V5 or 8 leaf corn, uh, and then there's the tasseling application timing, or the VT timing in corn. We've done a lot of research on the, 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 the early timing as well as the tassel timing. Uh, we felt that uh, at the early timing, the, the plant is still uh, quite young in its uh, development stage and when you get a fungicide on that early this corn has a quite a long uh, quite a few growth stages to go through yet and so what we want to do uh, with that stage is we're getting about a four bushel increase from headline across our research trials and so our, our main recommendation would be to spray it at the tassel stage where we're getting an 8 to 10 bushel an increase on an acre. Um, really it's taking full advantage of that corn crop and protecting it right before grain fill uh, when a disease might come in and, and, and attack the yield. Over the next uh, little while between now and tasseling, so growers should really think about monitoring their crop, their corn crop for, for diseases. There's, uh, there's a number of diseases, a couple of them such as northern corn leaf blight, uh, and thracnose is another one that has been shown to increase uh, in particularly last year uh, with the, the, the tightened corn rotations, corn on corn. Um, if they can look out for those leaf diseases kind of the end of June and into, into July, that'll really help them uh, decide whether a fungicide application uh, will be valuable to them on their farm. Uh, we've seen a lot of trials where we had some leaf disease and we've, uh, we've seen a, a large yield increase when the presence of disease is there in corn, as well as some trials where maybe the crop is under stress um, and the, the plant health benefits of a fungicide like Headline have helped to overcome some of those stresses. And so uh, not only le leading to an average yield increase, but also there's a potential to really increase those yields on that corn acre. So there's a couple ways growers can go about uh, applying a fungicide in their corn. There's ground application and there's aerial application. Ground application, we've been really successful with, with headline and applying it at this tassel stage. So at the early, early tassel, when the tassel's just emerging out of the whirl, growers have reported great results at that stage. And there's also aerial application. Uh, aerial application, after talking to a, f a few of the aerial applicators in the last couple weeks, they're getting a lot of orders. Um, so one, one solution for you would be to, to contact your local aerial applicator and, and book some acres uh, and try a fungicide on your corn crop to maximize your potential that you've already put in, in terms of uh, the fertilizer, the, the seed, and, and spraying it with a herbicide. 